is better. The scar or the burst assault rifle? That is the question that I'm going to be answering in today's video. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Juice here, flying at you with another Fortnite video. And as I said before, we're going to be answering the question of what is better and what you should choose in the scar or burst assault rifle. Now, a lot of you have, I hope, gotten it. And I'm doing a 50v50, so I might be able to get my hands on both. But when you when you're just looking at it face on face, facts on facts, the scar does a bit more damage. From what I can tell, it does. Cuz the burst, though it does fire 3 at a time, it does about 50 to head. So that's 150 in one good burst. Now the scar, if you fire off 3 shots, all hit head then they're gonna down. They're going down. So, on DPS, Scar is better. Which is a bit surprising, if you ask me. And... I didn't mean to say DPS, but... Damage, let's say, per three shots. Damage per three shots is gonna be better. Now, if we're looking at what's gonna do damage per mag, it's gonna be the scar. So, putting out quick damage, it's gonna be the burst. Assault rifle. Because of its fast bursts and fire rate. But, the scar overall is gonna be putting out more damage per the mag. So if you're looking for DPS, then you already have your answer. Or not DP. Oh my god. Damage per mag. If you're looking for damage, Scar is probably going to be where you're at. Now, Scar is also a bit better for the beginning players. Because a burst, it ain't the most kid, like, I, I, I said kid friendly. Yeah, it isn't the most noob friendly. So if you're new at this game, you're going to want to pick the Scar. You know, get your aim a bit more adjusted. But the scar has had a lot more time to be tweaked. And... Oh God. And that means that it's had more buffs, more nerfs, more... everything. So depending on how you're looking at it, a lot of people are going to be choosing the burst AR. Now... What makes the burst the burst is... It's range. It, it's... The Scar, they both have about the same range, but the Scar, at its max range, it does like 20, but the Burst, it does 22, so it's doing more damage for once, and that is gonna, at range, that's what you're looking for, because the more time they have alive, the more time they have to retaliate and launch an attack. Got awesome. Now, at long ranges, yes, you're going to want the burst AR. Which means that the scar is going to probably be better towards the end game with the small storm eyes and close ups of pretty much everybody. But that shouldn't shun you from using it at the very end. If you have good aim, then that thing is a deadly weapon. And it can put people out of their misery in three seconds easily. You need to be, if you're going up against a burst AR, you're going to want a big amount of health. The more health you have, the more alive you're going to stay. If you hit all, all shots to the head with a burst AR, as I said before, that is 150. That could kill me right now, as, as I speak. That could kill me. Which means, if you have good aim, come on, that's where you're going to be heading. Now, another thing to take into, into account is how they compare to each other. As in, who's going to win in, in a one-on-one -on -one fight against each other. The Scar, if they're st you're staring at each other and you're both hitting headshots at 100 health, then 
the first AR is going to win. 100 health. That is 100 health. But if you each have 200, then it's going to be the Scar. Because it does more damage over time. Per mag, as I said before. And with that burst AR, you need to be able to hit that first burst. Uh, let me head up here. Alright, I am alive and I'm leaving. Now, let's see how they differ in yellow and purple. I, I'm going to call them yellow and purple, but epic or legendary or whatever you guys want to call them. I call them epic and purple, or yellow and purple. The yellow one does a bit more damage, the burst assault rifle. The, I don't know exactly how much, I'm, might be 34 or 33, but the golden scar does 36. Which means that if it's doubled, it's going to be doing some pretty big hits. It's going to be hitting about 72 per headshot. Which only adds to the tremendous amount of damage per mag that it already has. So, yellow over yellow. The better yellow is going to be the Scar. Only because of its superior damage per mag. Okay, that's a bush dancing. But at a range, as I said before, you're gonna want to be able to hit those shots. And the scar, let's just say, it ain't the most friendly at range. Now, the burst assault rifle is better at range because it's a burst. It's 100 accuracy. It has time to cool down its recoil. Now, the scar, the thing about the scar is that it's the more you fire it, the more it's gonna, it's recoil, it's range of fire, is gonna spread out. So at a range, as I said before, yes, burst assault rifle. They both have 30 in the mag, that's not too much to, to worry about. And, to be completely honest, the burst assault rifle right now, they're both really good guns, but the scar... I think just might be better. As in at end games, the scar is gonna beat the burst assault rifle in end game because of the sheer amount of close up damage that it does. Now, the more range you have on you, if you have the burst assault rifle and some other guy has a scar, you're gonna want to get yourself far away from him and. In that range, that the scar is gonna be pretty bad, you're probably gonna want to use a bolt action, as that guy I just used right then. It's pretty well scripted, if you ask me. Wait, wait, wait I mean, I mean, what's a script? <coughs> as I was saying, when it comes down to it, the purples, right? The purple scar does 35 damage and. It's freaking me out. The purple burst assault rifle does about 33, 32, 31. Somewhere in those numbers. I haven't gotten it a lot myself, so I don't know the exact numbers. Which I probably should know because I am doing a video on it. Anyway, a quick fun fact because you guys are probably really bored right now. The scar is modeled. Uh, not the scar. The burst assault rifle is modeled after the FAMAS, which is actually a fully automatic weapon. So why it is only a burst in this game, I. Um, where was I? Oh. Darn it. That should have been a... Getting a bit carried away in my gameplay. If 
place my wood. Okay. That freaked me out. I'm gonna back up. Choke jug. That's not a choke jug. Healing up, healing up, healing up, healing up. All right. <clears throat> As I was saying, this guy I'm pretty sure has a burst assault rifle. But it's modeled after the FAMAS, which is a fully automatic weapon in real life. So as to why it's burst in this game, I don't know. Because it's time to push this guy. Wherever he is. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Now, to end this little statement, at a range, you're gonna want that burst AR. Mid-game, definitely. Right? But, if it's a bit later into the game, you know, everybody's sort of winding down, looking for the end game, then you're gonna want the scar. Now, I'm not shunning these guns. They're both amazing. They earn their yellow rarity. Which, I'm gonna get one out of this... Nope, I'm gonna get the exact opposite. I'm gonna get one out of this. Anyways, everybody's saying that they're overpowered, but if you look at the stats, not really. Burst Assault Rifle, though it is good, I think right now it isn't in the best spot. Now, I'm not saying that a buff is in order, but I'm not saying that a nerf is in order. You need to play your cards carefully, Epic. Not that you're listening. But, um, Goosepan signing off. Well, not signing off, but that's probably going to end the argument side of this video as of which gun is better. Now, I'm going to start doing this thing where I recommend stuff that should be added. Or, this is totally opinionated, so... I'm thinking a... Here's a campfire that heals your shield. Would be pretty awesome. That... And... Maybe... A... Sort of kill streak mechanic. Where if you do mega good... With a squad or something, or... If you do something good, then you get some sort of reward for it. So, there's just a lot of stuff that can be explored in this game. And I would recommend that Epic explore. Now, I'm not saying add, like, everything that you can. Darn it, I dropped my... I hate it when you do that. It's relatable. Right, guys? Anyway, where were these guys? That's a rocket. Okay. Um, we there are six of us alive. This is not good. Eh. it up. We need some high power weaponry. To be specific, we need that burst assault rifle. Um. Darn you. Okay. Um. Wow. Well, rip. So if you guys enjoyed it, please slap that like button. Um, if you guys want to sub, you should sub. Um, let me get out of this. Um, and leave in the comments below, what do you guys think is better? Because me, personally, I'm going to give my opinion. The burst assault rifle is better. Only because you're spending the majority of the game in with a really good gun. 
but later you should probably swap to a scar. Anyways, Gooseman, signing off.